Warcraft Adventures Lord of the Clans is a game that many people may not be aware of that was actually fairly close to being completed, at least in terms of being a playable product. Maybe the polish wasn't there, but it was a playable product. It was actually developed by Animation Magic. It's a American gaming company located in Cambridge, Massachusetts, or was located in Cambridge. And it was outsourced to um, Animation Magic from Blizzard Entertainment. This was actually entering development just after the release of Warcraft 2, and it was announced in early 1997. However, the game was canceled before it was completed in May of 1998, so it was announced in early 97, and it was canceled about a year later. Uh, the game features about half an hour worth of fully animated sequences, and a lot of really cool artwork, and a lot of good sound and audio as well. However, the game was never released officially, but it was eventually f***ed in some form. I'm going to read the story of the game uh, from a summary from Wowpedia. So I appreciate Wowpedia for having this summary available. So the story goes, there are three great wars between the Human Alliance and the Orcish Invaders. And these have laid waste to the once proud realms of Azeroth. Uh, 22 years have passed since Blackmoor found a young Orkling, uh, later named Thrall. Uh, he secretly raised the Orkling within the confines of the prison fortress known as Durnhold, and Blackmoor planned to mold the Orkling into the perfect warrior, a warrior conditioned to human thinking, both all the savagery of an Orkish heart. This was foretold by Drek'thar in the trailer that you will see soon for the game. After the Dark Portal was destroyed and the rift between the worlds was destroyed, you had a large group of orcs that were trapped on Azeroth, and over the course of the next few years, the humans, being merciful in their ways, instead of hunting down and eradicating these orcs, granted them land areas where they could live as long as they lived in the confines of societal expectations. Basically, they were put on these reservations or camps, and because they were made to live in a way that was very contrary to their basic nature, a lot of the spirit and fire that defines the orcs as a culture was drained out of them. So what you had found yourself with was an orc society in Azeroth of forced positivity, passivity, passivity, not forced through violence, but forced through situation. Now, the story in Warcraft Adventures isn't necessarily canon, at least not anymore. Uh, there were some aspects of it that are canon, some aspects that were retconned, and some aspects that were essentially uh, completely non-canon, so you'll see this as we go through the gameplay. Uh, I am not really a lore expert for the Warcraft or the world of Warcraft, uh, so I really can't speak about what is or is not canon anymore, but I think other people will find it interesting watching the playthrough and seeing what they feel is still canon or is not. One interesting thing to note is that Animation Magic, the main company behind the development of the Warcraft Adventures game, outsourced a lot of their work to a subsidiary, apparently which they own 100%, located in St. Petersburg, Russia. Now, this subsidiary was also apparently involved in the somewhat um, well-known, for the wrong reasons, Legend of Zelda CDI game. This is for the CD Philips CDI game console that was released in the 90s, and there were Legend of Zelda games that Nintendo apparently um, outsourced to this company to make for the CDI, or maybe not outsourced, but licensed their rights to use. And those games, although I've never played them, I've heard some pretty bad things, not only about the animation and audio, but also the gameplay itself. Now, apparently, that is where the leak of Warcraft Adventures came from, was someone from this St. Petersburg, Russia facility. Uh, that's the rumor anyway, and uh, I don't know if there's any way to prove that one way or the other. Now, in the actual announcement from Blizzard uh, for the game, which came out on March 17th, 1997, Blizzard highlighted some key features of the game, including more than 60 stunning locations within seven Azeroth regions, uh, intense gameplay filled with puzzles and extensive character interaction, over 70 animated characters, including many of the familiar faces from the Warcraft series, more than 40,000 frames of feature film caliber animation, created by a team of over 50 artists, Hollywood voice talents including Clancy Brown, Peter Cullen, and Tony J. Uh, you may recognize Peter Cullen as Optimus Prime from the Transformers TV series, and uh, they also claim a classical soundtrack of Warcraft music. The game was expected to be released by the end of 1997 for the holiday season, as Windows 95 and Macintosh on a CD-ROM format 
and retailing for approximately $50. However, the game was later cancelled in early 1998, obviously missing the 1997 winter release date, and there was a fan petition which uh, apparently was requesting uh, the game to not be cancelled. There's an online petition, and Blizzard responded to that with uh, this announcement. So Blizzard wants to take a minute to respond to the Warcraft Adventures petition that is circulating on the internet. First, we want to express our gratitude to the Warcraft fans that took the time to organize such an effort. We recognize that the cancellation of Warcraft Adventures has disappointed some of our customers, and we appreciate that they have shared their opinions with us. Secondly, we want to let you know that stopping development was not a decision that was taken lightly. It was a hard call to make, but each of us knows that it was the right choice. The cancellation was not a business or marketing decision, or even a statement about the adventure genre. The decision centered around the level of value that we want to give our customers. In essence, it was a case of stepping up and really proving to ourselves and gamers that we will not sell out on the quality of our games. And finally, we hope that Warcraft fans will consider our track record and trust our judgment on ending the project. The cancellation of Warcraft Adventures does not signal the demise of Azeroth. We have every intention of returning to the Warcraft world because there are still chapters to be told. We will keep you informed as we announce future Warcraft plans. Now, keep in mind, this was 1998. This was still a few years before Warcraft 3 was announced, or before world, the world of Warcraft was announced, and a few years before either of those games were released. Um, now, it's kind of interesting that they do allude here that they will return to Warcraft, and I suspect that they had plans for Warcraft 3 in the making, even in 1998. I'm not sure if World of Warcraft really was in development to any real capacity until at least 1999, maybe even 2000. But it, I don't think the World of Warcraft was really fully developed you know, as a concept even, or even partially developed as a concept this early. However, the ultimately, ultimately the decision was to cancel the project, and it seems that that was really about the quality of the game. They must have played through it and decided it wasn't fun enough to really be worth marketing, and I suspect that they decided that it would actually harm the Warcraft brand to some extent, and so they canned it. And uh, personally, I can't blame them. You know, you have to do what you gotta do. Blizzard was a small enough company then that they couldn't necessarily afford to take a huge uh, PR or review hit. Um, they didn't really have the ability to uh, recover from that very easily necessarily. Um, so maybe it was other stuff going on in the background, but that seems like a key aspect of the game and uh, the limitation being that it wasn't good enough. Uh, so we'll play through and we'll decide for ourselves if that's really the case.